everybody, it's Kitty Cat Creator here with a baking video. I'm going to be making cream puffs today for the first time. In preparation for doing this, I have tied back my hair and washed my hands. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. So let's get on in a bit. The first thing I'm going to do for the cream puffs is melt some water, sugar, a tad bit of salt, and butter over some heat. Now that the butter is melted, I'm going to add in the flour and stir for several minutes. Flop it. And like I said, we must stir for several minutes. It's not looking like a very good mixture at the moment, but it will get better, hopefully. Very lumpy and chunky. So now that it's fully cooled, I'm going to be incorporating each one of these eggs individually. If it's not fully cooled quite yet, the eggs may cook on you. During this process, it's supposed to look slimy and disgusting. So that's normal. Okay, so. Egg. On to egg number two. I like to crack my eggs on a flat surface just because I feel like it gives a better result with the crack, like the shell doesn't get all over. Egg number three. Once again, cracking it on the stove on a flat surface. Oops, I'm coming off. Okay. Now going on for egg number four, the last egg, finally. This is so hard to do. Not kidding, it is a struggle. Like. You have to mix it so hard. It looks disgusting. Now I'm going to put my dough into a pastry bag. To make it easier to fill the pastry bag, I'm going to put it in a cup. And watch, here comes my extra hand. Using a knife to scrape your spatula helps quite a bit. I'm going to put it on our parchment lined cookie tray. I'm going to make it about one and a half inches wide by one and a half inches tall. It would be smart to know where you're placing your puffs on the tray before you squeeze. I scrapped this one puff because it was in the wrong spot. If you want your pastries to look more like circles, 
Make the top the same size as the bottom. These tips here, they will burn while they are baking. So make sure your fingers are damp and press them down. Now into the oven they go, 35 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. See you later, pals. Going on a hot vacation. They are done. After 35 minutes, let's see how they look. Hello, my little friends. It's time for y'all to cool down. While the puffs are cooling, I am going to be using the whisk attachment in my KitchenAid mixer to mix up the cream for the filling. Now I'm going to put in my heavy cream. Now we are going to put in the pure vanilla extract. Okay, so jumping in powdered sugar. Make sure it doesn't all puff out. We're gonna keep mixing this until we get to stiff peaks, which as you can see are kind of forming, but not quite yet. Okay, now since today is Valentine's Day, I am going to be adding in a little bit of red dye. Alrighty, now we are going to start mixing it again. Probably good. There. Whipped cream. And then the best part of the whole baking experience, licking your whisk. It's so good. Now we are going to be cutting these in half. Now we are going to fill our puffs with our pink whipped cream, just by Spreading it on just like that, and then we take its top, just pop it on and press the tiniest. Now that they're filled, we are going to place our tops. Now we are going to dust the tops with powdered sugar just for looks. The second one has a lot of powdered sugar. Now I have a beautiful Valentine's Day display for my family. They all will get to taste it, but of course I have to taste one first. It's so good. <laughs> 